Welcome to Board Gaming Park. Today we're going to be doing a quick how to play and playthrough of A War of Whispers. Yep. Okay, so basically this is a very easy game to learn. Um, it's very strategic though, so it's kind of a hard game to master, but easy to learn. Um, it's a risk type game. If you like risk, it's similar, but um, very different in the way you're not trying to control the board as in risk. You're trying to manipulate which of the five empires controls most the most cities on the board. Um, there's five empires. There's the horse, the lion, the elephant, the eagle, and the bear. You're more of a supporting character um, who has alliances or loyalties to um, one of the empires and then your loyalties go down um, based on your randomly placed token on your player board. So you don't show anyone else who your loyalties are, but I'll show you. That is my token that's on my loyalty that's worth the, worth the most points. So basically it says times four. So that empire, you see these um, brown things, those are cities. And as you place banners, whatever color banner is in there controls that city. Um, so whichever empire controls the most of these cities is the dominant empire. So if you happen to have that same, say it's the elephant and the elephant is here in my slot one, it would be however many cities that have the green banner for the elephant on them times four. I get a score for that. Your second loyalty is a different empire. And these are random. You shuffle them and just, you can look at them, but it's random when you put them on there. So whichever one is on there, I want to be the second highest city that dominates. You get times three for the amount of cities that that empire controls. Um, your third slot here is times two. The fourth slot is zero, and actually the fifth slot, whoever you have in that slot, is a negative one for each city. So you don't want them to control any cities. So I'm manipulating for my player board, Quentin's manipulating for his loyalties, and Anthony's manipulating for his loyalties. So, and the way you do that is your turn proceed. There's four parts of your turn, four parts in each round, and there's four rounds. Each time a round is finished, you put the round tracker token on that. As soon as the number four is placed, the game is over and we do the scoring. But first, you start out in a normal round. Um, you retrieve, these are your agents. You have, a, you have a, several agents of your color, which you place on these icons in each empire, but you get to choose which one. But the first round, there's no retrieve because there's no agents out there. But normally you'll take one back and retrieve it. Each person takes turns. We have the collector's edition, so it's kind of a really cool upgraded. This is metal, the first player token. These um, in the standard game are little cardboard cutouts, but we've got the upgraded plastic pieces. It's really cool. Um, so whoever has the first player token, they go first. They place one agent on any of the four squares on one of the empires. Then the next player goes, the next player, and you keep going around to each person has placed two agents on the board. In a two player game, I believe you place three agents, but in a three to four player game, you place two agents each, taking turns doing one at a time. And the way you choose is, it's a very strategic, you could try to hinder an empire, or you could try to help an empire. You can do many different things. But when you place your agent on one of these spaces, there's actions underneath each of the spaces. They all have different ones, but under each box, but they're all very similar. For instance, these are the little farms. And the farms also, what they do is you can normally only put four of an empire's banner in one of the regions. 
um, if there's a farm on that region, you could put six banners. So, for instance, here, if you happen to put your agent on this space, which is the for the lion, you can choose one of the two actions. I can put one banner for every farm that's in the lion's region. And the lion's region is outlined in gold, so he controls this right here for now. So there's one, two, three, three farms. I could place three banners, three yellow banners, anywhere within his region. Um, or I can draw one card. Over here we have, each empire has their own deck of cards. So the lion, and they're represented, I should have, yeah, this is the lion. Um, some of them are obvious, <laughs> like the horse is obvious. Normally you have them with, maybe we should put them with the actual, because that's going to get confusing. Yeah. I'm going to leave the horse over here. We're, we're out of room because of the video. That's the bear. Oh, wait. This is the bear. Sorry. No. That's that. Oh, that's a treasure. That's why. This is the elephant. And this is the lion. And this is the lion. So we'll leave the lion and the horse right here. Um, so they each have their own deck of cards. When you get on the draw a card, you would draw the set for the lion, which is this one right here. Um, in the collector's edition, there's two additional cards, actually four additional cards in each deck. There's two treasure cards and two, what were they called? Um, they're event cards, but they start with something else. They start with a C. I can't remember what they're called. But um, if you draw one of the event cards, it's an action that you do right away. Um, the treasure card is wild, and it can be used. Here, I'll show you. Just go through this deck here. So here is one of the event cards. You can see there's the difference between the two. The normal card has the costs of how many cards you need to play that card. The event card has no cost, so it's a you do it right away. For instance, this one is, when this card is drawn, immediately do the following, and you do what it says. Um, if you get a treasure card, that is a wild card, so that acts as the card you need. So right here, all of them have the very top action, costs one card, and this card counts as that card. You can see the little icon. It's the lion. You only need one lion card. The section action, action costs two lion cards to play that card. So you could play either a second lion card, or if you have a treasure, you could play a treasure and that. The third action calls for a lion card and an eagle. Again, the treasure card would represent that. That's hard to do. So... As you're drawing cards, you can play them at any time. You can play them before your turn, after, I mean, any, you can play them any time during your turn. doesn't matter if it's before or after you place your agent or move. Um, you can only have five cards five at cards the end of the round. Yeah, five cards max and you, you can discard. have any amount of cards during the round, but at the end of the round, you have to discard down to five. Uh, we never got up to five, but again, um, we found we figured out we were not playing to our, to the fullest potential when we were practicing this game. So we'll tell you the right way to play it, and it's, it actually makes it a much better game. Um, so you that's the card you draw when you get that. This one is you draw a card for every three farms. So you would draw one card there, or you can just place two banners. This you can place two banners for every tower. This one has one, two towers. These are the towers, what the towers do. Um, if an enemy puts their flag, say Quentin's moving, he, say he's here, but he moves his banners there, the tower automatically defeats one banner right away. So if you had, say you had two flags, or sorry, keep wanting to call them flags, two banners and a tower, and Quentin moved his two banners there, well, the tower is going to kill one, and then one of your, these are going to be dead one for one. They're always killed one for one on the banners, and that would leave one banner 
for the lion, it means he continues to control that region. The way you know, the initial banners are placed, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's little banner symbols. You basically set up the game by the symbols. So this has two green. It tells you where to put the towers. It tells you where to put the cities, the farms, and you just start out the setup. It's a very quick setup for this game. Um, so that is your turn on your agents, and you're just going to choose based on which where your loyalty lies, where you want to place your agents, whether you want to hinder another empire, help yours. Um, there's many ways to play this game. And the cool rule that we were missing out on, say I place my agent here, and no one else places an agent during their turn. So you get to play not only... This is in one empire, the place you put your agent on, but any spaces to the right that are open, you also get to take the action there. So if I put it here and no one played there, their agent, I'll get to take every single one of those actions and then also the one I place my agent on. So that is a huge advantage. And um, so you could actually do a lot that way, but you at least always get to do it However many are empty to the right of your agent, you get to do the actions for those boxes and the one you're on. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember if there's... I already said you place these. The way you track your turns, it starts... We have this cool um, little hourglass to use, but you start on the start. And you just, the next one is um, retrieve and deploy agents. There's no retrieve at this point, but you take turns deploying. And then you just move through each empire, through each space. If there's no one in an empire, nothing happens, and it moves to the next empire. And you just go one-to-one -one around the board, having people do their actions based on where their agent's placed. Then at the very end, after all... Um, empires have taken their actions. You go to the, that's end of round one, so you would place that there. Put this here on the, that's the start of the next turn. Discard to five. Then you can expose and swap loyalties. This is at the end of your, at the round. And what that means is, if you don't like, say, you're seeing the way this game's going, and you could tell probably there's an empire that's going to, that's doing really well that you have near the bottom that you probably want to get near the top based on, especially near the end of the game, like round three, when you, it's pretty much, you know there's not going to be that much change. You can um, basically swap two of these, but when you swap them, they're always face down, but if you swap them, you have to turn them face up and leave them face up for the rest of the game. So that's a disadvantage is they know where your loyalties are, especially if it's your first one. But I mean, if you're if you're gonna lose because the, the one with the most cities is down here at negative what? one, it would be worth it to switch them and put that on the your your top slot. So it's basically you pr sometimes have to do that. Um and then you start over at start, do the same thing, go around again, and then that would be end of round two, and you just keep doing that until, and you get to, you can always swap until the end of round three. After round four, there is no more swapping your things, so you need to make that decision by end of round three if you want to swap your loyalties. But once that round four is set, is placed, then you count your score and the game's over. Um, I think I've pretty much covered everything. So yeah. I'll give you this just in case that will need it. But, so we're now here at start. Quentin goes first. There's no agents to re retrieve. He's going to place one agent. Let me look and see who my loyalties are. Took it yours? Hmm? Is it okay your loyalties? Yeah. Careful. Okay. Can you my elbow? And you can try to throw people off, or you could just be blatant and go for one. It's, I mean, you have two top ones that are really close and multi, so it's a, you kind of, kind of, you have to kind of help several 
of the empires to get a good score. If you move here, you get to do all these. Yeah, if no one goes there. Oh, and I didn't cover what this one means. The others are pretty obvious. Um, the sword, sword means you attack. Um, but this one, this little two arrows, means you can swap your agent with any other agent in that empire. So say, even if they've already taken the turn on that space, you swap them and you immediately get to do the actions on the space that you swap to. I forgot to cover that. So you placed yours. I'm gonna place my agent. Just on the bear. <laughs> yeah, back to swap then. Yeah. But you'd only get to take this action. Because he would already have taken that action. He would take this, this, and this. You would only get to take the action on that one. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so we've deployed our agents. So I'm the only one in the Bear Empire, so I get to take the action on all of those spaces. Oh, so wow. the share it's the sheriff, steward, marshal, and chancellor are the positions. So the first one, I can either place a flag for every farm or I can attack. There's really no attacking right now. I mean, I could, but so I'm gonna place there's two farms. So I'm gonna place the flags. Now she needs a bear. And then I can take a card for every two, which I am gonna take a card. Or I could have placed two more banners. But I'm gonna take a card. Is it a bit? Mm -mm. Oh. And then um, the next one, I can place a banner for each of the towers. So that's three banners. Wow, that's a lot. And basically the only entryways they have are these front three. So place those there. And my very last one is I can attack. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna move all of these here. The tower automatically kills one of mine. I kill two of those, it kills two of mine, so I have one left that's basically took over that region. Okay, so now we're to the eagle. So Anthony gets to do that one first and then the spot he's on. I just feel how the bear only has one. Yeah. Bear's not very good one. You can either draw a card, two two cards, or you can place two. four banners. No. One for every farm. Oh yeah, so. Obviously Anthony's for the eagle. <laughs> so you get to oh, do this one and, and if this you, one. one rule, if you attack, and you keep moving, like your next turn, say you attack again, you have to leave a banner behind to to guard that region. I just realized how I took the, both the same ones as him, the same you know, area. Did you already do this one? What do you mean? I'm not going on You get to do both. Oh, okay. So you can either attack or you can place a banner, two banners. Okay. Because it's one for every tower. That's the max in that land. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Now you can either attack or you can trade places and do that action. Okay. What are you going to do? You take an, a card for two cards or two cards? That's okay. more of it. So that's the cards for that one. So two cards? Mm -hmm. Wow. So they're both ones that cost stuff. Okay. Are you playing any Let's of them? see. No, not okay. yet. So now we're to the elephant. No one's there. So we move on. We have the lion. No one's the elephant. Anthony gets to, or Quentin, sorry, gets to do all these actions. So wow. you can draw one card or you can place a, three banners. One for each farm. I would never do three banners. Okay, so they're right that's here. a lot. That's a lot of banners. So. I'm gonna do this. Just to make sure you don't invade it. <laughs> okay. Oops. And the next one. It's a little bit hard to stick it in there. You can draw one card or place two banners. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's make it sure. And the only way to score is for the banners that are in these cities. That's the what only score. You, you can either do one card or place two banners. I'll take the card. It's over there. Oh, yeah. uh, the lines here. Okay. And oh, it doesn't matter which deck you draw from. Oh, it's a treasure. You can use the you cards. Should. You can mingle them together as long as you have the right Art. symbols it's saying to pay for that cost, to pay for that action. And the treasure can be used with any of the cards. So I'm gonna do this. Okay. It's it's it says choose one banner of the active active empire. Kill up to five banners in any. Which one are you doing? The top sec. Oh, the third one. You mm -hmm. can't do the third one. You have to have th three. No. It's two. It's two cards. No. Oh. The third one's three. No, yeah. it's not. It's just that and a different. Oh. So here, the, I'll show them. Oh, I see that. So he's doing the third action. This is a treasure. Is it? And it requires yeah. the eagle and an elephant. But he has an eagle card and a treasure card. I forgot. The initial card is one of the symbols, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So Alchemist Fire, he gets to choose one banner of the active empire, which is, he's in the lion. Kill up to five enemy banners in any adjacent regions. Also, I'm here, so I have to kill all these. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. So you, you take one banner, though. And how many? Is there five on there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All five of them go down. So does he put his banner in there? Is that what that means? No. He still, he still it has says to... choose one banner. Of the active empire, kill up to five enemy banners oh, yeah, in any so, adjacent regions. So he would have to move one. Okay. Yeah. And the treasures, you shuffle back in to the deck. Okay, cool. Okay, so you do your next move. Okay, so Wait, I can do this. It says move the active agent to any council position and take that position's action and move it so back one. And I can so see. you haven't taken this action yet, though. You might want to take this action first. Oh, yeah, I'll do that first. So you place two flags. Did, um, did he do this one? Yeah. All right. So you place... Two what? Um, two flags. Banners. Or banners. I keep calling them flags. <laughs> Make sure you have the terminology. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you have the lion, you might want it. Obviously, you're for the lion. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm for anyone. Who <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you can use your card. Um, I'm going to do this. Move the activation to any council position and then take that position's action immediately. Okay. So, what's that one do? What can I do with that one? Get two cards. Or, uh, get one per three. So. so, you get one card or you get two flags. I'm going to put two flags. That's, 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 that's the, the horse. horse. 
Does does the um line only have two? It has three. Oh yeah, we get a three. Oh, you can only put a maximum of four oh. unless there's that. Oh, so I had too many on there when I put five. Yeah, the farm. Oh yeah, it was the farm. I for some reason that messes with my brain. Yeah. That was luck. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, so <laughs> so you can either exchange or you can attack. I'll attack. Actually, I'm gonna swap. Okay. Oh, yeah, swap, swap in with him. Yeah. Okay, good. So you can either draw. One card, or place two banners. Place two banners. Yeah. Have you got the banners? Okay. Oh, see, there's a farm there. You can put another one. You got five there if you want. No, the farm's on this region. Oh, never mind. Okay, so now on the, farm. on the horse, I'm the only person, yeah. only agent there, so I can do all the actions. So I get to place two flags. I also keep forgetting about the cities. Um, so she's the bear and the horse. I can draw. <laughs> That's good to know. One card. Oh, it's an event. Rearrange the agents on the Horse Empire's Council. All agents must move to a new position. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that kind of was bad because I don't get to do as many, but that's fine. After rearranging the agents, start the House Empire's turn. Well, that's good. I get to start over and do that again. So I can place two flags. Wow, the horse has a lot of cities. Yeah, it does. Okay, then I'm going to draw a card. Oh, oh cool, it's a treasure. Okay. And, and you're obviously the mm -hmm. lion and the bird. You can place two banners. Okay, so that's end of my turn. It's end of round one. So now if you have more than five, you discard down. Um, you can swap if you want. Anyone want to swap? Nope. Okay. It's too early in the game. So we'll just start around two. So the first player goes to the next person. So I retrieve one of my agents. Is it round two? I'll retrieve that one. I was go by fast. It's going to be a pretty quick game. It doesn't mm -hmm. take that long. About an hour. Maybe. It'll take a little longer this time because we're doing more action. Yeah, retrieve one. Oh, excuse you. Me. Retrieve one. Oh, I was thinking that I had to take one. Put one on there. Okay. okay. Now we each place two. So I'm going to place one there. I'm like an army of tiny characters. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's a bird in the line. Your turn. Okay. Horrible memory on those type things. I don't know who all mine are. Yeah, I do. Place, everybody place two. two. Yeah. You still need to place another one. He has two. No, he has three on there. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So we start with the bear. I get to do all the actions because my mom cares for the bear. He's literally only okay, one. So I get to place two banners. And then I get to draw a card or place two banners. Place one there. Can I place one there? Wait, you can no. put that there. All right, because I control it. Oh yeah. I will oh be able okay. To yeah. Place yeah, it can't there. Touch okay. Um. Then I can place three banners. Okay, and then I can attack. I'm gonna move oh no. these here. So one is killed by the tower, one is killed by the yellow. Barely. And then beat I that took one. back over my region. And then that is my turn. Now it's on the eagle. So Quentin gets to so what's that place two again? banners. Yeah, do this one first. Oh, I can do a card. Yeah, you do this one first, though. Oh, yeah, I get that. Two banners. Nice. Okay, and then I do this one mm -hmm. for how many forms? One, two, three. So you get two cards if you want. Okay, or you cards. can place four banners. Two cards. Okay. So let's see if I want to play them. Um, ooh. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this and my treasure mercenaries kill free banners in any region. Mm -hmm. Any. Mean. <laughs> okay, I'll get it. Okay. Here. Take all those away. So, we shuffle that. Give me those cards, please. We I shuffle the treasure back in. Oops. All of yours are taken away. And I will I say, this, the collector's edition is really nice. These cards are very nice cards. Very yeah. high quality. Um, turn stuff. I can attack for what? Or you can place one, two banners or attack. Actually, I will attack. I'm going to attack that. Okay, so you're, um, well... You'd be lose. dead. Actually, the tower kills you and you'd have to have one, more than four. This one. Okay, I'll do that one. Okay, so how many's on left. there? Three? Yeah. The tower killed one and my three killed the other three. My turn. Nope. So you can either attack or swap places. Oh swap. So you can kinda of shake that one. Because you can't really attack with the ones that we have. You realize you can't both win. Yeah. <laughs> Just what you didn't know. <laughs> I want Tim to control that one. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving on to the elephant. Uh, Anthony gets to place two flags. All right, and then I get to place, you want to, one floor, is it, I don't know, two. You can either draw one card or two flags. Ooh, I'm tired. Okay. Kind of. I get to place a flag for each tower or I can attack. Oh, so you're gonna be placing flags? So three three flags. Or banners, actually. Or banners. I'm keep, sorry. You're I keep, confusing me. I keep calling them banners or flags. You're confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I can either attack or switch places. I'm gonna switch places and draw a card. Okay. Yes. 
Yeah, looks like it. Because there's like, oh, okay, there's fucking things on there. Okay, then it moves <coughs> to the lion. Anthony gets to either place a banner for each farm or draw a card. Okay. Card? Actually, yeah, I'll grab it. Get a card. So, then you can okay. either draw three cards or place two banners. Uh, or no, yeah. one card. Sorry, one card, one card. two banners. Okay. Yeah, not cards. Mm-hmm. Are you going to do anything? No. Okay. Okay, so now Quentin can go. I'm going to turn the air down, but you're here. Okay. Okay. You back? Yep. Okay. So you can place a fan. Is that two banners? No, it's. Oh, yeah, there's banners. It's two banners for each tower. How many towers? Two, so that's four banners. Wow, we're gonna sell banners from these. Mm hmm. Just trying to grab all of them. It's a bit hard. That's the only one that I've seen has two banners. That were four. One, two, three, four, five. No, this is a right. This is separate land. Oh, this right. is the farm. Okay. This. Split two each. Just so I'm gonna kind of save them. Okay. And that. <coughs> Sorry, it's a cough. And, and you can go. either attack or switch. Oops, you can draw a card. We'll place two banners. Yep. Um, it's not an advantage. I'm playing it. Um, I'm going to do this. Instead of it using the current agent's position action, use the position action held by one of your other agents. We've so already did your agent action. Oh, um, yeah. Never mind. So, on the horse, I can place. One banner for each farm. Two banners. You're putting your banners back. Then I can place two banners. Um, one for each tower. Time to defend it. Um, for sure. And I'm not going to attack. There's really nothing. Well, actually, I'm going to attack the. Well, no, that would be dumb. Okay. But I can't really attack anything. So mm -hmm. that's the end of round two. So we discard down to five and. We can, I may swap. Let's see. If, can yellow control? Oh, this. You didn't move this. Oh. Wait, Emma, wait, I have a question. What? If I attack, can I invade one of these banners? And if I invade one of the banners with the line, does that count to the line? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. You have to kill both those. Okay, so I'm, I may switch alliance, my loyalties. Well, this early on? Yep. Well, we're on round three. Yep. Also, it's the final chance. No, there's four rounds. No, to oh. switch. Oh, yeah, this is the last time to switch. Okay. You have to show you, remember. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so I switched my loyalties. The bear was in front. I don't think the bear is going to do anything. So the bear never does anything. The eagle is my first loyalty. They know that. But they've been working for me all this time, so... Are you sw switching some? Yeah, I'm actually, yeah. You're putting the eagle down low? 
So you get zero for each city it actually no. controls. It's hard. Um, but you just switched. So can I swap to... as many as I want? No. no. You, only... you can swap two. You could swap more next round in the next round. No, you can't. Yeah, swap loyalties. That's this the end of each round. He can. Oh, this. That. That's. We have one more round. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll swap. Okay. So, we're done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, when the next round goes. I start first. Yep. Anthony gets the first player token. He retrieves okay. an agent. Um, I have a good feeling about this. Give me the green one. Thank you. Okay, retrieve an agent. The okay. reason why I did it is because the horse I it has a lot more than the other ones. That's the reason why I'm doing that. Okay. okay. It's not a place, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, since I switched sides, I'm going to go there now. We have another chance to switch, so I could always switch. Your turn, Quinn. Do we know if one's out one? That's it, right? Um, yes. Four. Yes. So now the bear, no one's on the bear. So I go on the eagle first. Okay. Place two banners. Well, you switch, switch, switch the eagle to number one? But they only get two. Oh, okay. Wow, that's weird to play. Surprised. I'm trying to go for the ones that three or four. Huh. My turn? Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. Place card. Three banners or one card. Card. Is it instant? Oh. When this card is drawn, immediately do one of the following. Then discard this card. Trade. <coughs> For the rest of the turn, each farm on an empire controls counts as two farms. Mm. On every empire? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Each farm in it, in the empire controls count. Yeah. Oh, so that horde for the rest of the turn. Empires have no limits on the number of banners they can have in a region. Mm. I'm putting horde into effect. Okay. No oh, limits. It's one or the other. Yep. Okay. So no limits. Just for this round. That's fine. Right. So what happens at the end of the round if you have too many? You have to remove them, right? Next so. round. Yeah. Okay. So now you get to go, little man. You can either place a banner, one banner, or you can attack. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attack these three. You, you can't, can't. You can't it's go over there. Water. You can't go over water. Oh, you oh. cannot go over water. You have to go. Through have we ever gone over water before? No. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Um, so I can just place a banner, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. And you can also do this. I can attack. You can attack or switch with a different agent. I'm gonna attack this one. You would lose. Well, I'm gonna lose on purpose. Can I do that? Yeah. That's actually part of the strategy. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sabotage you guys. Alright. <laughs> well that's no, that wasn't that what? that yellow was in here. Oh. And one was there was only one in there. Oh okay. Okay. 
<laughs> and uh, so now it goes to me. I get to place a flag for each farm. Yeah, happy I was able to do that. <laughs> I know you guys are going to be swapping now. Are you all? Then I can either draw a card. Oh, I either purge, kill one elephant banner in each region. Or the Elephant Empire can't make any further attacks this turn. It doesn't even matter. It's still in there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did I do one in that region? Uh -huh. No. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay, yeah, you did. Okay. Okay. And. I might swap. Some of them will swap. Depends. <laughs> wow, we have so many on the line. Mm -hmm. He has a lot on the line. I'm hitting my elbow on it. <coughs> Thing is, how can you attack if I never put anything in here? Hmm? Can you, it seems like you could still attack it if there's nothing in there. You could just move there and take it over, right? Yeah. 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 But okay. the cities are what counts. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To place any, add four friendly banners to any empty region without a city or a fort. So I'm going to do two, oh, well, that's a fort, so I'm doing those two. Okay, this good. is a treasure card that gets shuffled back into its deck. And this one is on the bottom. And then, I was still going, right? No, I I drew a card, okay? So now, okay. the lion, so I get to go. I can either place a banner. We'll draw a card. We'll draw a card. Just a card. Okay, so obviously it's on a van. Is that a treasure? Mm -mm. Okay, so now uh, Anthony gets to say it three times in a row. Wow. You can either draw a card or two banners. I'm going to put two banners. Okay, good. Is that there or there? It would have to be there. Yeah. Put a banner here. Okay. Put a banner here. All right. You could attack that one. Okay. So now you can over. put no, no, two yeah. banners. Yeah, but well, if you get the attack banner, action. You can put that banner. You will get an attack action, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, and then you can either attack or switch. I'm on attack. attack. Yeah. Okay. So it's just one left. Kind of kills both of them. Are you yeah. going to take it over? I did. Oh, okay. They're obviously the lion. Okay, and then the okay. horse last. Okay. And so, Quentin, you can place two. Two banners on the horse. I'm gonna place him in the worst spot. Okay. <laughs> then 
you can place, you can take a card or place two banners. Take a card. And it's move any army of the active empire to any region it controls. What? Move any army of the active empire to any region it controls. Mm -hmm. So. Which one's you moving? You have to move it to an area you control. I'm going to move this one into this one. You can move the whole thing, all of them. Okay. All I'm going to move all of them. Okay. And it's a farm, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> then you can place two banners or you can attack. No, attack. Okay. And I'm going to do. Actually, no. Can't do that. Can't do that. Why are you going to attack? I, I'm not going to attack. Okay, so you want to place two banners then? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to just place them here. Okay. You can't oh, but, place oh, wait, them Oh, I never, never. Yeah, right there. Okay. Actually, no, don't put them in there. Oh, well, you put them here. Okay. Where there's no thing. Right, then it's me. I can attack or... I can switch places. So I'm going to switch places. Actually, I think I will attack. Yeah, attack. Well, you already placed it. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Okay. No. So I had a card. Okay, so. Wait, was that me? He switched places. Okay, I'm confused. So that's the end of the third round. We discard down to five. Um, we can swap. I'm not gonna swap. Actually, wait, what? Yeah, I'm gonna swap. Yeah, I'm gonna swap too. There you go, nice. Okay. And the game, or we have no, we have one more round. Oh, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna win this game. So, you're no. first, okay? So, you there's one more round, retrieve one. Yeah, last round, you retrieve one. Oh, uh, false already. The last round, mm -mm. no, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I have to retrieve one first. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go this way. You guys don't even know which one my number one one is. <laughs> What are you doing? You're retrieving. Oh, I'm retrieving. Sorry. What was that? Wait. Um. Okay. Okay, your turn. So now you can place one. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll place one here. I don't want to. Turn okay, so I place one? Yeah, last one. I have this whole thing to myself. And I'm going to make it purposely these. <laughs> Why? Wow, you're like, that's your second I know, one. I don't understand. <laughs> I won't make this either. What's your number one one? The lion. Oh. I'm surprised that you're the lion. <sighs> this is hard to play out. <laughs> what I do? Yep. Do I want to go for? It's like I want to go for these, but then if I also go for them, I help you. <laughs> Can you put me this in the green one with the card? This one? Yeah. Okay. So do I do my thing? Yeah, you go first. No blue. So we start with the eagle. So Same. me, yep. the two banners. Okay. 
Banner um, bear. And then it's Anthony. You either get two cards or you could place four banners. Two cards. Okay, I'll take a good one. Okay. I'm surprised I'm playing you have a Do you have five? No, four. Okay, so you can see. Um, let's see. Choose one banner back, I play kill up to five enemy banners in chasing region. None of them are beneficial. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, wait. This one's good. Your attack may target empty enemy region. So I'm going to place the so permesh. I'll see. Okay. <laughs> Are you on attack moves? No, it says your attack you your attack may target empty enemy regions, so obviously it means you can put your cards mm -hmm. in there, your banner. Okay. 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 So. so then it's Quinn's turn. You can either attack or you can place banners. One ba one banner. So you get attack with attack these. I'm or gonna attack this one. You have to use two. Here two. And that takes one. Okay, nice. There you go. <laughs> okay. okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. So I can either switch, which I think I will. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna move it on there. There you go. I switch with. I actually have five farms because switch at this one. Because of that farm. I don't think we can switch anymore, can we? Hmm? I don't think we can switch anymore, can we? I think I just messed up. How? Yeah. Mom has the the ego or the Oh wait. No, I don't want to place it there. Oh, you have the eagle as your second one? No, she does. Oh. Oh, your fourth one's the eagle? Mm hmm. Oh, I thought you were going for the eagle. Mm hmm. Oh. Weird. I said I moved here. Hmm. I'm guessing your number one one has to be the horse. Oh, sorry, baby. That's, okay, sorry. Okay, so now if. Anthony gets to place one flag. Yeah. Where are you putting it? Um, right here. There's a that doesn't own it. Right oh, right here. Okay. Then you get to either place two flags or take a card. Okay. Okay. And I get to attack, or I can place a banner. There's no really no point of attacking anything. Because the only thing you could attack is this, but you can't, you don't have enough. Can't really do much there. Here, place that. There's one, one banner. Okay. Okay. And here I can swap. Okay. I'm gonna draw a card. Okay. A lion. I can either draw a card or place a banner. Okay. 
And Anthony can either draw one card or place this one banner. I want to draw a card. Oh, close. Cool. Put all your eggs in one basket. Which one? That one? Okay, so choose a line controlled region. Yeah. Take one line banner from each other line Come controlled on. region that contains two or more banners and place them together in the chosen region. Look at this. Four right there. So I'm going to place mm -hmm. one from each region. I have to take. And I got to place it in the chosen region. Why, why do you have three? I have five and he only has four. As well as that. I have four. Wait, what? Why do you have five? Who? I, I would treat mine. Here, we'll move this one. Because obviously you place one and it doesn't affect anything. You get. Oh, you yeah. You to take it. Oh, yeah, I did something. A card. He posted his one. Okay. Uh, so now you get to place, there's only one banner. Then you can attack or switch and do the action over. I don't Actually, think I, I played very well. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna use, do this one. You might win. It says, Instead of using this current uh, agent's position, use the position action held by one of your other agents. So You could have done that anyway by switching. So I'm all, okay. yeah, but I don't want to switch. I'm going to attack this one. So three. Okay. And then... Uh, Bless you, old man. Keep sneezing. Maybe I might kiss you. There. Okay, so. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna attack. Actually. How are you attacking again? You've already done your action. No, I, I went back. You remember I gave that back? And I used the card to use this action. Instead of one, instead of using your agent, it's instead of. Yeah, this was the agent that I did. No, you were on this one. I put that back so I could... I was in that oh, position okay. again. I gotcha. But it really doesn't matter because there's nothing I could do. Can mm. I? So, let's try. Okay, so you can place two banners on mm. one banner. I'm going to put one banner. One. Okay, yeah, there's all there. Okay, <laughs> then you can draw one card or place two more banners. Okay, yeah. Um, it doesn't have a cost of time, thing. Okay, then you can either place two banners or attack. Um. I don't know, I'll just two banners. Where do you want them? Here. You know what's the next one? You can attack. Attack or you can switch. Um, did I do that one? Yeah, I've done all of them. I'm going to swap with that one to okay. get a card. Okay. And I'm all the way to the van. It's this. No matter life, when this card is drawn, immediately do fall and win this card. Move all horse banners in one region, abandon that region to any empty region. So it abandons it. Do what now? Move all hero banners in one region, abandoning that region to an empty region. Horse region. So I'm just going to do you this. Move all of them? To any empty region? So I'm just going to do that. You have to move all of them. He did. All banners. Oh. oh, in one region. Okay. I thought it meant all of them. Okay. That would be insane. <laughs> all of them. 
That's that would be evil. Yeah. Okay, so that's end of round four. So the okay. game is over. Well, now we well, see what mine was? our loyalties. I was the lion. There is no way I won. And the elephant. Thank you guys. Right. Oh, the number three slot will determine who wins between you two. And I think it's me. Okay, so <laughs> we almost need my brain is a. I think I won for sure. A hundred percent. Yes. I think I got this. You might win. Never know. Okay, so the lion, how many cities does it have? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. So that was the lion. We were all the lion. Yeah, we were all the lion. <laughs> So we all get. I was the lion from the start. Twenty points for the lion. I didn't switch. So that's pretty. Neat. Which one were you from the start? The lion. The eagle oh. has one, two, three, times three for me. So that's nine for the eagle. Zero for me. The eagle. Zero for Anthony. Eagle's on yours. Mm -hmm. So you get six. Yes. Eagle. Lion. Okay, then the horse has one, two, it's four for me. And the horse for so third. Six. Yep. I have the horse for third. <laughs> okay. So, so six for you. Excuse me, it's burped. Okay, and Sorry. then the bear has one. So zero for me. Give me my win. So Papa. minus one for Anthony, minus zero one. for Quentin. No, it's minus one for me because that one controls it. Minus no, one. we're not. I haven't done that yet. Oh. Okay, elephant. <laughs> minus one. Controls two. one, so minus one for Quentin. Uh, minus one for me. Okay. And two, two for you. So who so, won? Anthony has twenty-seven. Wow! Did I win again? Did you win? How? Because of the eagle. Mm. I thought there was no way I was going to win. 32. What? I have 32. Oh, wait. Quentin may have won. <laughs> Let's see. 26, 32. Nope. Oh, you're going to be mad. What? 31. 32. No! 27. Really? You didn't think I won? I thought yeah, I messed up one. by when I didn't place it there to attack that one. Wow. Yeah, I can't believe that's two in a row. I won the last one and this one, and it's like I'm a savant in this game because I'm just like I really didn't have a good strategy. How did you win again? Because I switched my loyalties at the end, and the the eagle is what I had in the first place before, and I realized there's no way, so I switched them twice. I switched my loyalties twice. I can't believe that you won again because <laughs> you guys weren't going for the eagle and I had taken over this took over that I think didn't I? Take I took over that one. Or some you yeah. did. You I got two for the yeah, eagle. Yeah you helped time. me when you did that. I didn't think that you had high ones on the eagle. I thought you would switch. It was up, it was up all along. Yeah. Well yeah. <laughs> yeah I realized I messed up when I looked that way after yeah. I moved them. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't think I was gonna win. Me neither. That was a round of I thought you two would be tied or maybe one point apart. So I only beat you by one point. Oh wow! <laughs> this game is fun. It's it's hard to know the look that it's always changing and your loyalties change and it's just well you change them if you want. So it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And lo it's very hard to master this game, but um, we will put the product link in the description if you'd like to check out this game for yourself. Again, this is the collector's edition. Um, it's more expensive, but it's awesome. You get the metal token and the upgraded um, pieces. And the, is the board different too? No. Oh, the board is the same on both. But it's and the cards are really nice. I don't know if they're isn't the same that cards. different on the deluxe? Yeah. yeah, this is part of the deluxe, so it's it's really cute. If you um are cool, I guess cute is not the right <laughs> word. I think it's cute. <laughs> But if you like this video, please um, give us a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye! Bye.